Welcome to the final round of the Ladies' Ladder 2 Series. Candle Pins for Cancer round 7-7 seven seven from Extra Lane, Shooters Pub, Extra New Hampshire, Paul Gray Live on Candle Pin Bowling Network. We have 10 bowlers, 11 bowlers, and one pacer. The top five are 558 for three bowlers. Faye Sawyer, number one at 558, the tiebreaker. Number two, Madison Riva. Number three is Peggy Dolly. Number four at 550 is, uh, is uh, Sharon Britton here today again. And 548, Sonia Johnson is number five. That'll get the top five live show July 9th. Josh is coming to the Mike Mullen. 10 o'clock on Camp Mullen Network. And here we go. Five string format. They'll blow one string at a time, shift one lane to the right. So let's get underway. A great crowd on hand. Yeah, some great bowlers. Angie Scott, Lisa Everest out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Angie Scott going for the fifth time. The 75 league bowler for experience. Alana Brown is here. The United States finals runner up for the ladies. Amy Doobie runs the Sunday Pro League here. Lori Lewis, two time Chicha National Champion. Cheryl Nealon here for the third time. Tina Marie Young out of Lita Lanes. Kathy Boyd. Out of Academy Lane, Sharon Britton out of Academy Lanes, Katie Durant out of Academy Lanes, Linda Brunette, and Maddie Gothia pacing. So we have Lori Lewis on lane three, Tina Marie Young on lane two. This five string format about to start. But with 30, about 35 bowlers overall, I believe we have. 35 bowlers. And Lori Lewis, a big money bowler on lane three, starts the first of five, right in the pocket. Had some big strings in Hampshire States, cashed out twice. And that was a lob, actually. We'll give her more than that one. One, eight, nine, ten. Bought a brand new wow shirt this week, helps support cannabis for cancer. She's telling me help from last week or so. Lori Lewis trying to kick it over. Off the wall, wow, what a shot! Square to start, the first of five. Round seven to seven. Team Marie, the one on the ten. Kevin Burns helping out here. Bold early, it's a pace. Kevin, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little high. Worked at Masons, bowled at Masons before they closed down. Now you bowl Lita Lanes. Yep. And uh, now I help out with Ken Open Bowling Network. All right, thank you, Kevin. Tina Marie Young in eight. Kevin Lanes two and three here at Exeter. Home of their wood winning meat lovers pizza. Rory, six in the spare, 16 through one to start a match. Missed it right. Had a couple of 130s in New Hampshire State, a money bowler. Tina Marie Young, 5 2 split. Lori Lewis, 8 24 through 2. Tina Marie, good bid. 4 8 10. Just underway, a final round. Ball is going at their own pace, the way it should be. On Jean Tufil. Lori off to the right, gets a break. 1 2 10. Tina Maria, 7 15 through 2. On Candle Club Bowling Network. Please share this match with your friends and family. Inviting the bowl, Candle Club Bowling. Lori, 9. With the ball to go. Lori with the wood, still a nine, 33 through three in the first of five. Tina Marie Young, 5 2 split. The fly show is here at Extra Lane Shooters Pub, 10 a.m. Saturday, Ju wow. Sunday, Sunday, July 9th on Camp Mall Network. Bob Lee with the new rig and the new cameras and special guest commentator Mike Morin on the radio, 52 years, former announcer, but Ken Open Stars and Strikes for about nine years with Dick Watson. Lori back door, Senna Diamond. Tina Marie, the force for left, the one, two, four, seven. Lori in her fourth box, Tina in her third box. Lori missed oh, right, that's the one and three. Nailey's watching here. As is Chuck Rosas, Kitty Durant bowling. Tina, good bid there. Grabs two for an eight, 23 through three. Festive crowd here. Lori Lewis, 10, 43 through 4. Round 7 of 7. Three bowlers, Kevin, with a 5.58. Imagine that. A double tiebreaker in the second and third. 
Faye Sawyer trying to hang on to number one at 5.58. Manus Arriva, 5.58. Peggy Donnelly, 5.58. Sharon Britton here for the second time. Walked in. 5.50 is fourth. Sharon, uh, fifth is Sonia Johnson, 5.48. So 5.48, 5.59 is the range right now. That's how close it's been. Lori Lewis, only 10 in that first ball. 10 now has the 3.78. Tina Marie, good ball. Got it. Nice shot. The one six nine ten triangle for a spare. 33 and a ball through four in the first of five. Lori Lewis. Nice out of nine. 52 half. Spare six to start. Dangerous bowler. Tina Marie. Takes out six, maybe seven. Seven is one, five, eight. Kathy Boyd, who works at Academy Lanes Club 125, and bowls there on lane three. Tina Marie, spare is seven, even up 40 through four. For another one, Mr. Wright has the one and eight. Here's Kathy Boyd with a C on the crossover, nine. Nine pin for a spare. Beautiful ball. Tina Marie. Nice out. Nine. 49 half. Kathy Boyd. Missed it right. Kathy a nine to start the first of five. <laughs> Cheryl Neal and over the second time today. Struggled earlier. Had a 98 in the fourth string. Starts over the half west of the two and the eight. Kathy Boyd in second box. One three nine that cluster of three seven ten post. Sherelle, not Cheryl, Sherelle, C-H-Y-R-E-L, Neelan with a K. Open. Boyd, missed left. One, three, nine, ten. We'll have Cheryl Neelan, Team Marie Young next spring. We'll have Lisa Everett, so the big 20. And the number four seed right now, Sharon Britton, the second and third string. Cheryl starts over the seven. Kathy Boyd, a pair of nines to start. Kevin Burns, talk about Kathy Boyd. Uh, her current series for effort match, her high, pro, high, high average is a 98-110, high single 173, high trip of 368, high five of 588, home lanes, a carry lanes, and Hazel Bounce. 98, a current average, 110, her best ever average, seizing any average. 4-2 split, 12-4-7-5 right in the middle. Dean Sullivan here in attendance. Kathy Boyd, good bid. Pushes the eight, and it goes. How about that? Slow motion spare. Shrell Neal on two sevens to start. Kathy Boyd, 28 in the ball through three here in the first. Round seven of seven to donate via Venmo. Candlepins, F-O-R, cancer.com, or Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Only for Candlepin Walls, their relatives going through cancer treatments. Candlepin for Cancer is a 501c3 charity. Candlepin Bowlers helping Candlepin Bowlers going through cancer treatments. Please do your part by donating any amount. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for your generosity and support. Kathy Boyd in the bonus. Off to the left, three. 31 through three. Michelle Nealon starting the third box. Takes down six, the one, the three, six, the eight. Correction, the nine, down the three. Kathy Boyd has a set of diamonds. Diamonds look easy. They don't go just over one in four times. You throw bowls without wood. Stats by Kenneth Ball and Deborah. And a pretty spare for Sherelle Nealon. After two sevens, 24 in a ball through three. Kathy Boyd, eight, 39 through four. The fifth string, we're going to move our table around to cover the top bowlers. Roving around. Chad Britton off to a great start. 
she's working on strikes. 64. Actually, she got her spare strike. She's at 64 through 5. The current number 4 seed at 550. Trying to get to number 1. Shrell kneeling on the spare. Just 3. 27 through 3. Kathy Boyd in fifth box, first string. Two in that first ball, two in the second ball. Spare three in the third. Shirell. Boy, has been left the one, two, four, seven. Got the nice out, nine, 48 half. Shirell takes out two for an eight, 35 through four. Let's put the scores up as Lori Lewis about to start her second half. They've all in the same lane. They should have one lane to the right each string. We're using two through five, but now we're going one through six for the 20 balls. Lori Lewis, big time bowler, 52 half. Full husband, one, three, six, ten, the eight in the back left. And a spare six to start. Eight, nine, ten, nine. Shrell Neal and crossing over, nine. The queen pin for the ladies, the five pin for a spare. What a good bid, almost. Oh, oh. I can't remember, will you play that wood for Lori? <laughs> no, I would. Uh, Shrug gets it for a spare. Second spare in the last three, 45 and a ball through five. Lori gets the 10, 62 through six. Update on the scores. We'll put all the scores of all the 11 bowlers at each string and the running totals. And I'll recap the top five before we sign off and do post game interviews, if applicable. Lori Lewis, right in the pocket, has the four left, the five to the right, try to kick that wood over somehow. Not a piece, not a best piece of wood, but that could help. Better than no wood. Here's Tina Marie Young, had a spare seven in the fourth, 49 half. Lori inside for a field goal. Fierce competitor. Tina Marie avoids a lemon drop. It's three. Florida Wild Days this morning. Same thing, field goal. Patriots could use her. Eight box, 70 through seven. Six open boxes. Tina Marie on the crossover. Can't get the kick up the wall. This is the three and five. Hitting really well overall. After the 878 eight start, spare seven and the nine. Lori Lewis, one, two, generous lead. Try to cash in for a second mark. Team Marie just missed outside. For an eight, 57 through six. Lori Lewis missed the opportunity. Not happy with that shot. Nate Lee Sierra won the first ever Atlanta Candlepin Singles to a pro championship, now Class A. In the conference, semi -fin conference finals last year, lost to Red Hot Keith Bolfrey. That night, Keith had a 696 in the conference semifinals. Lori an 878 through 8. Tina Marie looking at the 1789. Kevin Burns, how are you playing this shot? Are you going left of the head pin or right of the head pin? Well, I'm waiting to see what the wood's going to do. I'm probably going to go right at the head pin. We'll try and think. Would you try to go either side yourself? I go left. And she missed left and got the one. She played the one wood. She played the wood, but she missed the head pin. Lori, a chance here in lane three. The two four seven table beats the wood. And takes advantage of it. Spare. 88 in the ball through nine. Second spare of the first. Tina Marie, eight. 65 through 7. Lana Brown is here. Amy Doobie. Linda Brunette. This is right. It's Katie in her. Brand. This is right. It's in her what, fourth round for the qualifying. Who's? Angel. Angie starts in the fifth round. Angie experience. Over average 18 to the 20 strings so far. Lori in the spare. The dreaded half. What's the right? Three in the nine. 90 through nine. Back to lane two, Tina Marie Young, one, two, eight. Lori, half west left, ouch, insult to injury. See why I hate that shot? What's your least favorite shot, Kevin? That? Yeah. I hate the half west shot. I had it earlier today, and that's, if you saw it earlier, I just went to the Tina Marie gets a spare. 
Second sphere of the string, 75 in the ball through eight. Jim Brayton is over well over 100, working on a mark. Lori Lewis, a tough five, 95 first string. Tina Marie on lane two, got a spare seven, now a spare nine. Seven pin standing, 84 through eight in the first of five. X Williams, X New Hampshire, shoot his puck. Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Kathy Boyd starts a second half after a 48 half, got a spare three in the third. Five one split, decent wood to help. Tina going for two in a row. Who needs the wood? Precision shot. Back to back, 94 and a ball through nine. Kathy, good bid. Can't get to the seven. The average fill for Pro Bowl is on spares 6.5, strikes 8.3. Statistics by Count from Bowling Network. Kathy at nine, 57 through six. Tina looks for another big fill. Right of the nose, eight, seven, ten goal post. Spear seven, spear nine, spear eight, 102 through nine. Great start. How about Tina Marie here when you get a chance? Kathy Boyd, 4 2 split. We'll get Tina Marie, we'll get Tina Marie next string. Yeah. Try and kick it over. Oh, good try. Tied three in a row. Try and get to 112. Kathy Boyd, 147. Tina Marie's average right now is. 102, best average 107, a 9, nice opening string 111, that would get her in the top 5 at that pace, but not quite number 1. Kathy Boyd, 865 through 7. Kathy Boyd, on lane 3. One three six. In her eighth box, first string. Five string format. Sherelle like Nealon off to left three. After this ball from Kathy Wood update from Sharon Britton. We got a 132. Wow. But it's number one. Spare for Kathy Boyd. Second spare of the first. 75 in the ball through eight. Sharon Britton, 20 years young. 132, first string. We'll see you the next two. And maybe the fifth also. Imagine you get five, five fifty-eights, five tie, five tiebreakers, double tiebreakers. That'd be something. Shrill Nealon has two spares in the string, working on one now on lane two. And she had eight on the fill, 53 half. Just missed left. Uh, correction, it was a three fill. I missed that first ball. So three fill. Make that 48 half, 856 through six. Just checking the update on Sharon Britton. Missed that first ball. Kathy Boyd, seven on her spare, up to 82 through eight. He's up the head pin. Sherelle off to left, cuts the four, seven, eight. We'll have Lisa Everest and Sharon Britton next two strings. Lee service 59 through 6. Had a spare 6 to start. Fitting well overall. Kathy Boyd, 10, 92 through 9. Sherelle Nealon, 136. Going for a third spare, but only fills with three in both her marks. Kathy, back door, 1 3 in front, 478 trying to left. Sherelle just missed, not by much. Lisa Harris just picked up a 7 10. You can see off of lane 1. For a 10 box, 69 through 7. Kathy Boyd, a mark in the 10. Third spare, 102 in a ball. A strike for a 112. Sherelle chops out 3. She had 90 last box, 65 through 7. Mrs. Boyd on lane 3. 
On the bonus, five. Make it six. Maybe seven. It's seven. 109, first string. 545 pace. Five. 545 pace, 540 is number five. By Sonia Johnson, 550. Sharon Britton, fourth, three at 558. Faith Sawyer, Madison Riva, Peggy Donnelly. Sherelle, 17910. Not happy. Six box, 71 through eight. We'll say so long to Lori Lewis and Kathy Boyd for now. And maybe see them later on if they're in the top five in the fifth string. But all eyes are Sharon Britton right now, 132. Spears and Spikes over there. Cheryl, the 1 8 10 Kevin checking the Spears and Spikes for Sharon Britton. 132, good for her. Now, easily put her at number one at that pace. Cheryl missed right, that's the 1 and 8. Pulled earlier today. Pulled May 27th, that's Saturday, Memorial Day weekend at a 462. This time it's a 9, 80 through 9. Winding down in the first string. Four more after this. Sharon Britton will lead off next string. And she is a joy to watch. Had a rough start in the ACST. Class B, Northern Comet, finish up strong in the second half. Lisa Everest of the Big 20, Scarborough Main will bowl after her. Lanes are drawn. Lane number in position they bowl. A lemon drop. One doll for Kendall Mitchell Cancer from Trill Nealon. Trying to finish up strong. Tough leave here. Sorry. Skip a line because I want the running totals under here. So skip a line. So put running totals next string to here, like 89. Next string here, the running totals here. So skip a line. Shrell gets an 8, 88 first string. Here the first string of our coverage here. Palm Grand Live with Kevin Burns on Kenneth Moe Network. Ladies, ladder two series, final round. Round seven of seven. Sharon Britton, 132 coming up here to start her second string. Explain Shooters Pub. Over 615 videos after this weekend in climbing. Subscribe free to our YouTube channel, never a charge, always free, Kenneth Moe Network on YouTube. Love Tina Marie Young again and Cheryl Neeland for the final time. Tina Marie, a nice 111 start. We'll put the official scores up here in just a moment. And here's what we have so far. Our coverage here you saw, Lori Lewis, slow start, 95. Don't expect to say that like that much longer. Got the boy, nice start, 109. Amy Doobie. 106, Maddie Goldthia filling in as a pacer, 94, 16 year old, a lot of brown, 105 first string, Katie Durant, 104, Yankee Scott over average again for the 19th time at 21 strings, 79, Linda Brunette, 89, and Tina Marie Young got an average, 111, Trell Neal, and 91. We start our second string of five. Tina Marie Young on lane three here next to One, two, seven, eight, nine. Sharon Britton. We're already coming in number four right now, coming in at 550. Starts her second string after 132 first. And what a try by Tina Marie. He's up the nine on the lead lanes, National New Hampshire. Sharon Britton avoids the lemon drop, gets four. Lisa Everest to follow Sharon Britton, Cheryl Nealon after Tina Marie Young. Nine box for Tina Marie. Sharon opened the four spin right the one three six ten. Good bid, got it. Nice out. Ten 
box for Sharon. Tina Marie looking at the one, two, seven. Second box, second string. Just celebrated a 44th birthday last month from National New Hampshire, her whole life. 107, it's a career high for a season average, and 102 currently. High single is 167 12 years ago as a 417 high triple high five 548 over 30 years actually Sharon Brigham on the board spare 20 in the ball through two a masterful start for the current number four seed Tina Maria 10 19 through two Sharon on Academy Lanes Pub 125 and Riverwalk Lanes Haines Prey Mass Mark Ritchie's home Mark Ritchie has the world record for three strings at 519. That's three. 519, the high triple is three 500 in his great career. Tina Marie's father was a bowler, as she has the one and nine. Has a triple strike. Has her friends push her to make her get better. Sharon Spear is 626 through two in a second. Tina Marie, 9, 28 through 3. Sharon Britton, open, 3, 5, 9. Tina Marie, 5, 2 split. Sharon Britton gets a 9 that time. 35 through 3. Sharon Bowles in the Sunday Monthly Pro League here once monthly. Extra lanes. Amy Doobie, the president, does a great job. And run the Ladies International August 4th. Britain in the pocket of a strike. She's got it. Wow. On fire. 45 plus 2 through 4 in the second of 5. Gunning for number one. And Amy Doobie, a strike on lane one. Match game PM. Off draw left. We'll see Amy Doobie for the next two streams. And the pacer, Maddie Gothier. Tina Tuck, five, 33 through four. Had a 111 in the first. Sharon, six in the spare for the second time. Actually, on a strike right now. Spare, six in the second. Amy almost double strike. Three, the two and the seven. Tina clips out two. Second bonus ball. Sharon missed it. Six on the strike. 51 through four. A very good young, confident bowler. Her father, Lane Britton, the coach, thinks she could be the best bowler in the game eventually. She has the drive to do it. Amy Dubia strike nine to our left. 51 through four herself. And Sharon, nice out. The Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. A 10, a 61 half. Another sizzling start for the youngster, Tina Marie. Officially 32 through 4. She has a mistake. It should be 41. 41 through 4. Shrell Neal on a lane three starts with second string. And Lisa Everest from Scarborough made the big 20. Ball for the second time today. Starting with 114 and 106. Faded down the stretch. 493. Shirell in the pocket off the wall. Seven. Two, four, five triangles. Lisa. Flips off a seven. Live coverage on Cannibal Bowl and Network. Ladies, Cannibal Pits of Cancer. Ladder two series. Final ladder series of the season. All these are eligible next round in the fall. Two rounds this year, plus a mixed one. Trying to get three ladies next season, plus a mixed. Trout doinks it. Lee says six standing with a ball to go. Maddie Goldia, the pacer, the 16-year-old out of Academy Lanes, a spare to start her second. Sherelle, all grand specialist, the second, make the third, a 10, 
Lisa Everest, nice out, a nine. Lisa's high single, 141, 96 league bowler. Best season, 101 for an average. Only bowled for four years. Lived in Houston, Texas for 15 years. Won the main average for handicap, the APH championship in 2018-19. Shrell in the gutter. Scott Herbert watching, thank you. Benjamin Witz always watching, thank you very much. Please share this match with your friends and family. Invite the bowl, Kim's more hard to go. Always a great supporter, very encouraging, very encouraging. Shrell, only two in that one. Lisa Everest missed the pocket in the four horsemen. One, three, six, ten. Final round. Shrell, nice out, nine. 19 through 2 in the second of 5. Great place to bowl. Extra lane, 6 lanes in 1946. 6th Avenue on 1952. 12-lane, classic wooden lane facility. One of the best owners in the game, Rob Picard Sr. And a great pub, pub 125. And an outstanding step and even better food. Great food, greater people, I should say. Shrell drills 9. The queen pin for the ladies, the 5. Lisa Everest trying to get going. Has the four horsemen plus the nine. Shrell hooks the left. Single pins actually statistically is the highest is the highest average to get to pick up. 68 to 72 percent pro average rate for pro bowls. That would stats by Count Point Network. Shrell gets a 10, 29 through three. Lisa Everest in a second box an eight. For the ball to go. Actually, eight in the last box, 17 through two. And now in the third box, she gets a nine, 26 through three. Kevin, talk about Cheryl Neeland. Now she gets four in that first ball. 90, 94 average. High, high career average is a 98. High single, 142. High trip, a 343. A high five, a 540. Home lanes are Leah Lanes in Ashwa and Academy Lanes in Haven. Right, thank you, Kevin Burns. Shrill, six standing. Lisa has the check mark left. Five in the middle, two, four, seven left, ten on the right. And Shrill, another good out. We'll take a nine, 38 to four, ten, nine, ten, nine. Lisa with a brand new Wow shirt she bought today. Helps support Kennel for some cancer. 550 shirts sold now. $10 free shirt goes to Kennel for some cancer. The ball is 5.1 C3 charity. Frank Luke Valley Chad, the creator of the Wow shirts. High quality thick building brand shirts. You can ship anywhere in the U.S. for $10. And wherever I stream. $25 off the Triple X. Plus size is 5X. $30. Lisa Everest. Nine box, 35 through four, approaching the halfway point of the second string. Shrell's interesting wood here. She has the 258, 710 post. Lisa has the 179. And just missed the object pin. The wood's coming back, and it wiggles and wobbles, but it won't go. Open half, pinning well, though. Lisa, good try, and the object pin won't carry. Now she has the Star Trek character, seven of nine. Shrell at 10. 10 9, 10 9, 10. Full house. 48 half. Lisa in the gutter for an 8. 43 half. Paul Grant, Kevin Burns live on Kenneth Mowing Network. The final round, 7 of 7 on Kenneth Mowing Network. Ladies only, dealing with the cancer. Ladder 2 series. The top 5 come right back here Sunday, July 9, 10 a.m. Special guest commentator Mike Warren. Bob Lee there with the technology and the new rig. On the Kennel Football Network on YouTube and Facebook. Tina Marie Young, 697 on lane three. Sharon Britton, state's leader, 132 in the first, has a 61 half. Shirelle had a, Tina Marie rather has a 41 half. She had a 111 in the first. And it fills with great spare seven, spare nine, spare eight. And what a try. Sharon on the nose, 2-2 two, two split, 2-1 two, split, for the 2 pin on the left, 2-6-10. Her first string she had, one strike and five spins. Amazing. 
getting better and better. Tina Maria, 9, 50 through 6. Sharon, good try on the object. Trying to get that wicked bounce to the East Coast. A spare six in the second box, a strike six here in the fourth. In the fourth. Eight that time, 69 through six. So she has six spares, two strikes in 16 boxes. That's a great average. A 120 bowler gets 3.1 spares, 0 0.09 strikes. Stats by Camel from Bowling Network. Tina Marie on lane three, the dreaded half was to 3.9. Quick on the crossover. Tough lead. 4 7 left, 5 10, middle right. I had something similar to that earlier. Yeah. And I had, and I I read the word and I was like, it wasn't going to go. I played it where you were supposed to. Go. Even Tom Ulster, Bob Lee's research for Pro Bowlers, current nowadays and back then, 40% of the time the head pain resulted in some kind of a split, maybe split or giant split. Sharon, good try. Just missed the object pin. Now it has the 2 5 and 10. Tina Marie on lane three has the two five ten. Sharon, the leader in the first round of these eleven bowlers, twelve as a pacer. And Maddie Goldier. Sharon a seven, seventy six through seven in the second of five. Tina Marie an eight, fifty eight through seven open so far. After three spares in the first. Talk about Tina Marie Young. Some stuff about her also, Kevin. Yeah, her kind of sturdy is natural. She's from natural. Her high average is 107. High season average is 102. 135 for a high single, a 350 for a high trip, a 548 for a high five. Home Valley is Leo Wings. Her dad got her into the game. Awesome. Yeah, if you look at her shirt, that's her and her father on the back of her shirt. Second ball, good pit pin hit, almost. Britain for a spare in the 2 4. Got it! Another mark. Nine the match in 18 boxes. Wow, a 50% spare conversion rate. Pro bowling on steroids. 86 in the ball through eight. Two spares, one strike here in the second. Tina Marie Young, a nine. 67 through eight. Next, two spins on Amy Doobie and Pacer. Maddie Gothia. Sharon Britton, nine. On the fill, 95 through 8. Currently the number 4 seed at 550. Try to get to at least 559 for the number 1 seed in our final round. Tina Marie. Britton right on it, back to back. 105 and the ball through 9. Wow. She is ripping the rack. Tim Matero, Calvin Locke. Brian Athens, tomorrow night, live broadcast on Facebook and YouTube. Your favorite website, favorite to listen to, Ripping the Rack by the Weekly Podcast. Tim Material, 2023 Hall of Famer, along with Al Johnson, Bob Wickham, and others. Steve Reno, Jr., uh, Senior, rather, Steve Reno, Senior, and his father, Harry Reno, in there also. Congratulations. Molly Basinski and others. Let's not forget about Bob Kelly. Joanne Rosano, also. Tina Marie gets a 10, 77 through 9. And Sharon Britton, 4 in that spare, 109 through 9. Sorry, Kevin, say that again. Bob well, Kelly also got elected. Yes. Whoa, wow, wow, what a shot for Sharon. Can't do anything wrong. Back to back. Three in a row make it. 119 in the ball in the 10th. Trying to get to 129 and 251 through 2. 261 through 2. Tina Marie, one, two, five, behind the head pin, seven left. Sharon Britton, not scheduled to win today. She walked in. Really confident. Sarah Wright watching the Atlantic County Signal Store, brand new class D division next year. Oh, what a try by Tina Marie. Can't get to the queen pin, the five. Best she can do now is 87 after 111 first. Sharon Britton, beautiful ball for a strike. Oh, look at that. Wow. Tough break. Five. But nothing wrong with a 132 first and a 124 second. She's at 256. Wow. Tina Marie with her new Owl shirt, a nine. 86 second string. 197 a first two. Lisa Everest, 43 half. Sherelle Nealon, 48 half. Wrap up our second of five. Here in Exeter. 
Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Their pizza deal, the bowling deal is unbeatable. $39, five bowls, one lane, 75 minutes of bowling. A large, delicious 18-inch cheese pizza with a pitcher of soda and free shoes. Double the value, $80, two 18-inch pizzas, two pitchers of soda, free shoes, 10 bowls, two lanes, 90 minutes. Unbeatable deals all year round, every day. X Lane Street is probably 6 Columbus Ave, X New Hampshire. A winning deal. The yeah, pub is excellent, high quality food. Meat Lovers got an award recently for the best pizza in the area. We have large screen TVs for your, all your sporting events. Full bar, delicious wraps, pizza, pretzels, a whole lot more. Shuffleboard, pool tables, billiards, darts, and trivia night. Music's inside, outside. A lot going on here, always. Extra Lane Street of Park, 6 Columbus Ave, Extra Hampshire. Trail Neal on a 9, 57 through 6, without a mark. And Lisa Everest, a 10, 53 through 6. Tonight, a big battle. Atlanta can't open singles to a Class C in its inaugural season. Northern Conference semifinals, the Magic Man, Tony Levesque, number 1 seed, number 7 seed, Jeff Little, evenly matched bowlers. The Academy Lanes finalist, Brian Patton, defeated Case McCool in a great match on Kenneth Mole Network while the Atlanta Kenneth and Singles tour Facebook page. Brian Patton, the 6th seed. Sherelle open with the 1 and 8. Lisa Everest, 6 right, 7 left on lane 2. Out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, Mike Walker's house, the president of the Maine Kenneth Mole Association. That one got away. Open through 7 boxes. I like that house. Uh, it's a fair house. It's a very fair house. You have to work for your pins there. Shirella 10. That's a fourth 10 of the string. 67 through 7 without a mark. And the marks will eventually come if you're pinning that well, usually. Lisa in 8, 61 through 7. Let's talk about Lisa Everest. Okay. She's from Old Orchard Beach in Maine. In Maine. And she's originally from Hopkinton, Nash, Houston, Texas. Overall average is a 96. Her career high is a 101, high single of a 141, boom lanes is the big 20 in Scarborough. She got the 141 high single when I covered her at the uh, New Hampshire States in uh, Lewis Domain at Chesapeake Time Recreation Center. You can watch it on Candle Pimola Network on YouTube. And she's only been bowling Candle Pin for four years. Yeah. She has one state title under her belt also, the main APH championship winner, 2018-19 season. Okay, back to our live action. She has a spread eagle, now a clip wing eagle. On both sides now, 2 2 split. Cheryl Neal and pinning well, a 9. Only 4 pins left in the deck through 8 boxes, 76. Lisa Everest and Sharon Britton for the third string also requires Sharon the fifth also as well. Trying to get to the top 5. He's already number 4, trying to get to number 1. He's on track to do that right now. She keep it up. Lisa, nice out, 8, 69 through 8. Sherelle, beautiful ball for a strike, it's 9. Wooden front in the set of the 10 on the right. Both ball is no mark. Sherelle has been great in her pinning. Wood rolling away. Go right that pin. Wood's never a guarantee. She goes at it, and right on it, spare. Breaks through in the ninth, 86 in the ball. Like I told you, pinning that well, the marks will follow. And Lisa, a second spread eagle in a row. Good grief. Lisa got the three in the right. That's the two, four, seven left. Wrapping up our second string of five. Our final round, seven of seven on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Live show is the top five bowlers July 9th here, Sunday, 10 a.m. On Kenneth Moore Network, special guest commentator Mike Warren. And Lisa, nice pinning. A one in five chance on 10 bucks on Spread Eagles. 79 through 9 without a mark. Going twice today. Sherelle, three in the spare. She had two spare threes in the first string also. 89 through 9. With three three fills and three marks. Trying to get to 99 somehow. And 98 earlier in the fourth string. And a, a post for Lisa Everest with a brand new WOW shirt. 1, 3, 6, 10, 7 left. Sherlin 8, 97 string with one mark. Very good. 
Five pins above her 92 average. And they'll be exiting right with Tina Marie Young. At least try to kick it over. All but the head pin. Trying to get to 89 without a mark. We'll get the official scores and put them up each string when they're completed. Lisa Everest, 9, 88 without a mark. Paul Grant, Kevin Burns live on Candle for More Network. The ladies' candle pins for cancer around 7 of 7, our second and final ladder series of the season. All bowls will be eligible next season in the first round. It's the only, they don't overlap in season to season. So anybody can bowl next shift. You just skip one round in between ladder series. And we got three strings left, and we're going to bring in Sharon Britton again. And Lisa Everest, they'll be on th lane three. Sharon will lead off on the right. And she has been spectacular so far, leading the pack so far that we know of. And then we're going to bring in Amy Tooby and the pace of Maddie Gothier, 16 year old junior, so she's not eligible. So nice, good to see the young bowlers, up and coming bowlers. So we put down a parenthesis, a pacer. Her last name is not pacer, she's a pacer. And a good young bowler coming up the ranks. Amy Doobie in lane two. Let's get the scores here from Kevin Burns. Let's post he's up here. We get a chance. Lori Lewis, 95, 98, 193. Kathy Boyd, 109, 106. 250 through two. Sharon Britton after old tricks. Nine drop to start the third. Amy Doobie crossing over, seven. Left to right, the 5, 9, 10. Third string underway. Golden chance here for Sharon Britton. And she's got it. Spare to start the third. Amy on the Archer Pimo carry. Stumps the foot. Amanda Carroll style. The 9 and 10. Amy gets the 10 to start her third string. Kennel for Cancer is a 501c3 charity. Kennel for Bowlers, helping Kennel for Bowlers going through cancer treatments. You can donate 24 7 via Venmo, Kennel number 4 cancer.com, or go to Kennel Friends FOR cancer.com to donate via Venmo. $35,000 paid out in climbing to Bowlers and relatives going through cancer treatments. $25,000 in the last year alone raised. Including 11 from Wild Shirts and 5 in Lemon Drop Pool. Four and six in their first shot. A dollar, five and a mark. Sharon's fill is six. 16 to one. She had five spares, one strike in that 132 string. In the second string, four spares, one strike. Three, nine, seven, ten with Wood. Trying to kick it over. Missed the object from the three. That's the seven left. Amy open with the head pin. Remember, two tens. We'll see a lot of Brown next string. And Katie Durant next string also. Sharon missed right for an 8-24 to start their first two boxes in the third of five. Amy and nine, 19 for two. Let's try, we'll try to get these scores up soon to get the official scores in. Kevin Burns doing a great job running around. Kevin, I gotta put those up. I gotta put those up here. Keep those back. One of those. Sharon, 3 2 split. Amy cluster at 3 is for 3 5 9. Point of post to the 7 and 10. Third box, third swing from Exeter. Oh, oh. Amy, beautiful ball. Oh, wow! What a shot for a spare! 29 the ball through 3. Nice. Sharon, oh, what a shot! The 3 2 split a spare. 34 in the ball through three. Can't do anything wrong. Setting herself for the number one seed. A lot of ground up here. 105, 210. Katie Grant, 104, 115, 219 through two. Amy Doobie, 106, 113, 219. Maddie Gold here is a pacer, 94 and 85. Amy Doobie in the pocket. Oh, the Mad Susie special. The 5-7-10 on the spare. 36 through 3. 
Shannon Britton with second spare in three boxes. Right in the pocket for a strike nine. 43 through three. Maybe this be something. Just missed it left. Matt made it last season. So they only got a spare for a spare. I call the Matt Susie Special. Current champion of the Atlantic Kelvin Single Store, Pro Division, now Class A. Sharon missed that chance there. And Avi, nice out, nine. 45 through four. And Sharon, not happy with that missed shot. That's fair. And wasn't there for a nine. 52 through four in the third of five. Lori Lewis. 95, 98, 193. Kathy Boyd, 9, 106, 215. Dubico's left. It has the 1, 3, 10. Angie Scott has the full time. The 75-league bowler over average again. And the brunette. 89, 94. Sharon in the pocket. Thin hit. 2, 4, 7, 10. Amy Spare. 55 half. Second Spare, the third. Terrific bowler. He runs the Sunday Monthly Pro League. Your next has an outstanding job in heading up the Ladies International here on August 4th weekend. Sharon, good try. The object won't carry. 4 7 10. Another solid half. 132 first, 124 second, 256 through two. Now to a terrific start halfway through the match. Try and get the short two on the left. And gets one for an eight, but a 60 half. Ready, go with the other pacer. 16 year old on the Academy Lane, save for Mass, above 125 on lane two. Not eligible as a junior, so didn't pay, so still junior eligible. Scores will not count, obviously. Towards the top five live show July 9th here at 10 a.m. with special guest commentator Mike Warren. Hard to pin, nothing else. Here's Lisa Evers back up from the Big 20, Scarborough, Maine. On lane three. She got the 478 starting her third string. And they got a, let's talk about Maddie Gothier. Fiber sheet right here. Maddie Gothier. Okay. From Bradford, Mass, high average of a 93, high single of 137, high trip of a 330. High five, 590. 490. 490, actually. Sure. I wish it was a 590. Yeah. I wish I was that. She'll get there. Um, Home Lanes Academy wins in Havel, Mass. All right. Thank you. Lisa, nine. Maddie started the five box. Now she has the fourth and the nine with a good piece of wood to help. Bradford, Mass, a section of Havel, Mass. That's its own zip code. She's open. Lisa, voice of lemon drop, gets a 6-10. Good ball by Lisa, right in the middle, 2-4, 3 to the right. Maddie Gothier in 8, 13 through 2, as a pacer. 11 official bowlers today. That'll bring us to 35, which should help the prize fund. Possible $1,200 for first, 800 for second, more than likely. 500 for third, 250 or 300 for fourth, 200 for fifth, more than likely. Unofficial yet. Lisa Everest in that box is 8, 17, the first two. Maddie, difficult lead the diamond plus the seven. Valuable experience for competition here. Good for a game. Lisa, 6 9, 7 left. Nice bid by Maddie, the Star Trek character, 7 of 9. Are you a Star Trek fan? I'm not. No. I like that one better, though. The yeah. Jerry Ryan version. Next Generation, I believe it was. Yeah. I was a Dark Shadows fan growing up. Barnabas Collins. <laughs> the Vampire. Great show. Live on tape, like our shows. You see all the mistakes. Nice oh, 10 for Maddie. 23 through 3. Lisa Everest. 7, 24 through 3. We're in the third string of 5. Our final round, 7 of 7. Ladder 2 series. 
final ladder series this season. Top five, Bay Sawyer, Madison River, Peggy Darling, all with 558. Tiebreaker is the high single. Fourth coming into today, 550, Sharon Britton. 548, Sonia Johnson, that's fifth. Lisa, beautiful ball, spread eagle. Third time we've seen that in our coverage. Maddie Diamond won't go, right in the middle. Four left, five right. Carolyn Shaw Dottie watching from Florida. Great four. Hall of Fame career in the Hall of Fame. Rightfully so. Maddie at 8, 31 through 4. Watch out for her a few years down the road. Top five for Lisa, 29 through 4. All eyes right now on Sharon Britton, 256 through 2, a 60 half up next. We'll, she'll be going right off our coverage on lane 4 next week. We'll probably cover in the fifth string. And a beautiful ball strike to Maddie Gauthier, the 16 year old junior. Long as a pacer, a 41 half plus 2. Good for her. Lisa, four, spare chance. It's the halfway point of the match. Hold what you mean. Nice shot, got it. Her first spare, the third, 39 of the ball. Paul Green, Kevin Burns live. Halfway through our final round, 7 of 7 on Kenneth Mall Network, Exxon Lane Shooters Pub. 6 Columbus Ave, Ex New Hampshire. Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Check out their wood winning pizza, their veggie wraps, the chicken wraps, pizza, pretzels, all kinds of goodies here. High quality food, outstanding oh, people here at Shooters Pub, Extra Lanes. Amy Tooby on lane two, having a great string, 179 on the spare, 62 half, two spare sevens. Sharon Britton has a spare six in the first, spare nine in the third. Missed a single pin though, has 60 half. Starting the second half with the 6-9-10. And she keeps up this patient easily up number one. Oh, beautiful ball. Spare. Amy Dewey. Wow, what a shot. Back to back. Three out of four. One like her old self. 72 to the ball from six. She's been a good young ball from Alana Brown who speaks several languages. Our next string. Along with Katie Durant. Both out of Academy Lanes, part 125. Britain, parallel pins, 4 7. To the right is the 5 and 8. Amy going ahead on lead 2. Sales right, just 4. 76 through 6. Missed outside. Parallel pins plus the Four to the left. Sharon with the wood missed inside. Four seven five right for a seven box. Sixty seven through six. Amy triangle two four five for a seven. Eighty three through seven. Sharon off to the left. Not a bad lead. The one three seven. Want to see some great bowling? Check out the Atlantic Can Open Signal Tour playoffs tonight and tomorrow night. Both 6 p.m. starts. Tonight, Class C, a battle of number one and number seven. And number seven, very deceiving, Jeff Little. Tony Levesque, number one. Evenly matched bowl is almost similar on average. Conference semifinals, Academy Lanes Club 125 tomorrow night. Logan's run, number one seed. Logan Gingras trying to rein in the moose. Joe Moose de Almeida, number six seed. 6 p.m. Class B. Northern Conference here at Exxon Lane Shooters Pub. 6 o'clock tonight, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Must see matches. Sharon Britton in 8. 8 7 8, the last three, 75 through 7. Coming back to earth here in the third. Amy, the Augusta Main Special, the 1 7 10. The old high low jack in Channel 5. Chris Sargent won over $7,000 on Channel 5 one time making that shot. Look at 8. 91 through 8 in the third of 5. Sharon a 3-2 split. So Sharon basically gets number one. Just needs like a couple of 102, three 102s at that pace. Unless somebody else surpasses her today. 
even less. Three one one so we'll get her there. Need to avoid that bad string. And she has the four on the left and the three on the right. Yeah. Amy flips out the seven. Sharon, field goal. Eight box again. 83 through eight. Maybe the four husband, one, three, six, ten, the eight in the back left of the piece of wood. Kennels for Cancer presentation. The ladies, Kennel Pitch for Cancer. Ladder, two series. Round seven of seven. Maybe a pretty shot. Sharon Britton, one, three, attraction, one, two, seven, eight. Maybe ten, nine, make that 101 through nine. Fine string. The caliber is high here in this final round. Anybody capable? Get in the top five. We'll give you live scores after every match. How about Linda Brunette? 75 half or it's spare strike. 75 half. Off to our right. Amy, a 3 1 split. 3 6 10 right. 7 left. Sharon is the 1 and the 2. Sharon. Got it. Amy, the 3 7 10. And that, I thought that was a spare. That was a 10 box for Shine. Missed a ball there. So 93 through 9. It's still a good 10. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after being yeah. well, I was trying to watch the other scores. I missed that second ball. It's, Linda Brunette is on fire over there on Leeds. Six. Putting on a show. Look at her go. 93 through 6. 103 and a ball through 7. Off to the right. We might be able to catch her later on if we. Depending where she is, where she is in the standings, a uh, fist will roam around. Sharon four in that first ball, four in the second, and a seven open boxes to wrap up the string. But still on pace, gets number one. Maybe you do get it. Seven, eight, seven, eight, Amy. seven box for Amy, 108, third string. Maddie Gothy, the pacer. Working a strike on lane two. Ah, oh, right around it. You have to no, nine, sorry, nine in the strike, 50 half for the 16 year older junior. Can you maybe just went 94. Okay, 10 for Maddie Gothier, 60 through six, and the third of five. Lisa Everest on a spare, 39 half plus them all after a seven five. Of Amy Dubian, Maddie Goldfield for the fourth string again. Lisa on the bonus, crossing over, seven, five, eight, ten, forty six half. Sharon Britton, by the way, ten in that last box, back to back tens, one oh three, a forty three half after a sixty first half. But that puts her at three fifty nine and two one hundreds, and right now at that pace should be number one, depending on their action. I'm going to break up that log jam of three balls of 558, one through three right now. They face Sawyer, Madison Ryder, and Peggy Donnelly. Lisa in the middle. For a seven, 53 through six. Eight box for Maddie Gothier as the pacer, 68 through seven. Two more strings left after this. Top five, live show at July 9th, Sunday, 10 a.m. On camera, we have Bob Lee here with the technology and the new equipment, new laptop, and we have Mike Warren of Kenilman Stars and Strikes here again. Lisa, Washburn plus the eight. Maddie has Washburn plus the eight. Oh. On a proud next string, and Katie Durant. Lisa, nice wall off the wall, almost. Tough break. Maddie, one in the eight. Maddie, bowl with friends and family growing up. Likes to hang out with family and friends. 
finished first place in the teams in the doubles junior tournament. Over just six years, he's in 2.6 pound bowling balls out of Academy Lanes, up 125 in the Bradford section of Abram Mass. Lisa at nine, Maddie at eight. So Lisa's 62 through seven. Maddie Gothier, two eights in a row, 76 through eight. Oh, yeah. Averaging 93 in a young career. Lisa just got the 10 pin. Maddie, good crossover shot, but look at this. Parallel pins plus the seven, now the seven goes. And Dark Shadows, that's parallel time. The five, nine, six, ten, left to right. Great TV show from the 60s and 70s. Live on tape. Just like a broadcast, you see all the mistakes. Lisa, good ball there. Seven, ten. Maddie open with the five. The queen pin for the ladies. Have a nice string and a nice career so far. Only going to get better and better. Kind of like a lot of Brown now. Darren Britton. Lisa Everest, a nine, 71 through eight. Third string winding down. Maddie, a 10, 86 through nine. On track to meet her average again. And a strike nine in the fifth. Lisa out of Scott Romain, big 20. She has parallel time, 4, 7, 5, 8. Beautiful ball on Maddie, both here, 9. Wobbling 6, almost the second strike of the string. We'll put the official scores up after the string is over. And just got for the lemon drop money in. Bowling 5 times. And Maddie just missed it left. Trying to get to 96 here in the third. Lisa Everest, 9, 80 through 9. And a spare 7 in the fifth. Who will be the top five after this final round? Sharon Britton thinks she, she could be number one. Two 100s will get the job done. Maddie at 9, 95, third strength. Lisa, beautiful ball. Parallel time again. 4, 7, 5, 8. He's a spare strike to get to 100. Kevin Murray is helping out. Back around here. Beautiful bit by Lisa. Missed the 5. The queen pin. Try and get to 90. And we have two strings left. Nice 10, 90, third string. Paul Grant, Kevin Burns live. We're at X Lane Shooters Pug. Six Plumbers F, X New Hampshire on Kenneth Mullen. Never three strings down, two to go. Our final lattice series of the season. All bowls eligible next round in the fall. Round seven of seven, ladder two on Kenneth Mullen Network. Please subscribe free to our YouTube channel. It's always free, available 24 7. Kenneth Mullen Network, free on YouTube. 6 p.m. tonight. A big battle, number one, number seven, Tony and Magic Levesque, number one, number seven, Jeff Little, even on average, pretty much. Tomorrow night, Logan Gingrass, Logan's run, will rain in the try to rain in the moose, Joe Moose, Deal Mater, Class B Northern Conference Finals. Six o'clock tonight, tomorrow night, on the ACST Facebook page. All right, Kevin Burns getting the tallies for us here. Let's we'll put these up on the screen. Yeah, I'm doing 267 for Lisa Everest, you had that 90 into that third. Sharon Britton is the story right now. 132, 124, 103, 359, two 100s at that pace. Pending other action, she'll be number one. And that would be something for the 20 year old. What? Tina Marie Young, 111, 86, 94. So that'd be a 293. Cheryl Neal, 91, 97, 76. That'll put her at 264. Other action, Angie Scott, full of the experience, 75 lead border, Agalong Bowl, Richmond Bowling Center, Kirby Mass, 250. Linda Brunette, 136, 319. She still has a shot after an 89 94 start. Great third string, 136. That's a high single for the day. Lori Lewis, struggling, 83. People coming back, Kathy Boyd, nice 127 string, 342. She's got a shot at number one also. Four string away. Amy Doobie, nine. 
Here's Alana Brown. She gets eight, five, and seven. She has 315, 315, 3 not a dummy score. Kenny Durant, 104, 115, 104, 323. Still has an outside shot. The top five. Amy Spear to start the fourth. Alana misses. Alana and Amy. Alana gets the 10. She was terrific. New Hampshire State Finals against Madison River. 590 half the start in that 10 string battle. Too much Madison River. Watch that thriller. At least the first half. And a great battle between Evan River and Josh Daly. A 694 638 start. Thrilling match on Cannon from Bowling Network on YouTube. Amy Doobie on the bonus. Feeling it. 7 2 4 6 right. 17 through 1. Stop the fourth of five. Alana, the 2 4 5 triangle. Amy Doobie, strong contention. 327. Eddie Gothier, a pacer. Not eligible. 274. Amy, good try on the object, won't go. Slapped her thigh. Rob, oh, got robbed again. Amy in 8, 25 through 2 in the 4th of 5 from Exeter. Al Johnson, the founder of Kennel of the Kennel Fence for Cancer. Lana in 9, 19 through 2. A 501 C3 charity. Donations encouraged. Anytime, 24-7 by Vemo, CandlePinsForCancer.com or CandlePins number 4, Cancer.com. Follow the links to Vemo. Amy Doobie, beautiful ball. 8, 9, 10, strike! 35 plus 2, pumps her fist. Second mark of the third. Alana drills 8, 9. Going wrong to 7, but right by it. Any luck, you get a two marks in a row. Just a very calm demeanor on the lanes. And right on it, spare. 29 of the ball through three. Could there be a shakeup in the top five? Could all five be replaced? The talent is here. We shall see. Amy, beautiful ball, feeling it. Eight. A wiggle on the five and the eight. Working on a strike. Just feeling the confidence today. For a spare and strike. Bang! 45 through three. 55 and a ball through four. Wow! Alana Brown spare. Seven. One, three, six. 36 through three. Vince is starting to hop. Please share this match to your friends and family. Invite them to bowl. Kenneth Bowling. Please support your local bowling centers with Kenneth and gift cards. Great way to get your family and friends involved. Alana Brown. A spare. That was actually an eight throws if another pin fell. So 37 through three. 47 the ball through four. And she should have had four in a row. Red Hot Amy Doobie. 327 through three. On the bonus, off to the left, the dreaded half Worcester. Boy, I hate that shot. Momentum killer. 57 through 4. They only converted 1 in 5 times for Pro Balls by Wood. Stats by Kenneth Moore Network. Alana Brown, a diamond on the spare. 53 through 4. Maybe open. 1 3 5 in the center, 4 7 left. Alana off the wall, no. Hey, last year, 5 in a row. It's that close. Amy, a tough, tough five. 62 half. Alana cashes in with a 10, a 63 half. What a battle here in Exeter. String four or five, and now seven or seven. Go, ladies, go. Ladies, the women's second annual doubles event, 220 scratch event. September 9th, Saturday, 10 a.m. here in Exeter. Looking for 24 teams, ladies. Let's go. 220 cap as of May 31st, 2023. Information on Caleb and Chatter, that's myself, Paul Grant, G R A N T, on Facebook Messenger. Look with 24 teams and sponsors and $2,500 first place prize. A thrilling match, a must see playoff match, a two string final on Caleb and Roland Network from last year. 
won by Glennis McKinley and Deb DeRosia over Kelsey Layton and Shannon Scribner. That was a great, great final. And Glennis McKinley, five strikes that match. A must-see on Canada Bowling Network. Ladies' second annual doubles event. Saturday, September 9th. Live coverage on Canada Bowling Network. Okay, here's Katie Durant on lane two. Got to have Chuck DeRoche. Beautiful ball, strike bid nine. Eight in for a spare. Here's Matty Goffier, the junior pacer here today. Carol of Hins plus the eight. Katie, spare, who needs the wood? Ten of the ball to start the fourth. Maddie's open. Fisher name is Madison. She likes Maddie, so don't call her Madison. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Who wants to call her Madison? I like Madison Riva. Nine box to start her fourth. On the bonus, Katie on the nose. Eight. Tough split. Six right, four left. 18 to one. Good bid, almost. Gave it a ride. Maddie Gold here takes up the 478. Nine. Maddie a spare. 19 to ball through two for Maddie Gothier. Not Gothier, it's Gothier. Kenny Drent, spare eight, nine, 27 through two. Katie, beautiful ball, but just missed left. Talk about Katie Drent, Kevin Burns. Overall average, 98. Career high, 98. Your best season. Yeah. High single, 140, high five, 596. Home wins, academy wins. She's originally from Bradford, but currently lives in Mathur. Okay, both the four horsemen's opposite side. Maddie, six on the spare, 25 through two. You missed right. So back to back. Katie, beautiful ball. Oh, got robbed by the wood. Shakes her head. And Millis, we caught the Kamowski special like that. Rick made a living off that one. That's a Paul Grant special. Mr. the second, make the third. 10, 35 through 3 for Maddie Gauthier, 16 year old junior. Katie Durant, 8 that time, 35 through 3. Rick Kamowski, teammate of mine with Dan Castle. And Millis, Natick, made a living off that shot. That was her inspiration on the 11 drop pool. We just put a dollar in the pool every time we got a full horseman lead. So let's do that for the lemon drop pool. So you know, five families right now on lemon drop pool and eleven in the wild shirts. Helped the ball from Millis last week or so, and the ball from Lido Lane's now catching last week also. A relative in South Carolina, one of the bowlers' relatives. Addy sent a check mark almost. One five nine tough shot for Katie Durant. Very rarely see it go. It's nice when it does. Just missed left. Nine blocks, 44 through four in, in the fourth. Good bid by Katie. That's nine. Also 44 through four in the fourth of five. And again, Kennel Fisher Cancer is a 501c3 charity. It all goes full circle. Anybody with cancer, want the chemo treatments, message myself, Paul Grant, Al Johnson, or your local bowling center, they'll contact us. We'll get check up at least $500 to your family member going through cancer treatments. That's a smile on their face, helps some expenses. Groceries, toys for holidays, heating, gas, whatever you need. Touch someone's heart by donating via Vemo. Candlepinsforcancer.com or Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Follow links to Vemo. Candlepin Bowlers helping Candlepin Bowlers going through cancer treatments. Both balls open, fifth box, fourth straight. Maddie has the 5 7. 
Lynn, Linda Brunetta, 136 third straight, just 55 in the ball, halfway to the fourth. So left the lane one. Katie, a six, 50 half. Maddie Goldie, a pacing, an eight, 52 half. Along with Kevin Burns, Paul Grand Live, X Lane Shooters Puck. XVM yeah, show sure. on Canada Pro Never. 80s Latter Two Series, round seven of seven. The final round for the top five, July 9th. The special guest commentator, Mike Moore, and he's Wallace Good Talk, author of the 100 Year History of the Manchester Diner, and once a Tommy and Stacia. Three books overall. Great guy, funny guy. Commentator myself, Bob Lee, on Canada Pro Never at 10 o'clock, July 9th, here next week. Come on down, support the 50-50 raffle, and donate to Kennel Bits for Cancer. Lana Brown, spread eagle plus eight in the hole. Amy, a three on split. The six on the right, two, four, seven left. Shots out the four. I love Lana Brown's game. Uh, she shots out the four also. Tough break and a tough four. 67 through six. Those will sting you. 7 for Amy, 69 through 6. After a 5 bucks. All started that dreaded half whister. The curse of the half whister. She has spare 7 to start. A spare, a strike spare, too, in the third and fourth. And she takes down 8. Not a bad lead, the 1 and 3. A lot of cross over, or actually in the head pin, pocket. The old woman discount, the 5 and 10. No wood, no luck. Amy Doobie for a spare. Missed it. Lana, good bid. Amy, that's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Is there ever a good time for that? 62 through 6. Alana Brown, 9. 59 through 6. Update from Kevin Burns. Shannon Burton just threw a double strike. Wow. She's looking good for number one right now. And the cluster at 558 will go to 2, 3, and 4 unless other things happen. A lot can happen. A lot of good bowlers have a chance here. Yep, and some information on Amy Doobie. Wow. Doobie. Doobie. Sunday average is a 98. Overall average, 107. High single, 198. 448 high trip and 480 her high trip. And her home leads is right here in next to her. Lana Brown drills to a 9. Plenty of pieces of wood. A plethora of wood, and she got it. Spare. After a nine box and a seven box, 76 through seven, 86 in the ball through eight. Amy missed again, but coming back almost. Wobble the two for a nine. 70, uh, correction, 78. Oh, she missed the last box, so 10 last box. Let's check that math here. Yep, 79 through seven, now a nine, 88 through eight. Boy, she was filling it there for a while. Another lemon drop on Angie Scott. Oh, she just missed it, rather. Tubi crossing over. 7-8. Uh, Brown on the bonus. 7-2-8. Half Worcester, 10 right. 93-8 in the fourth of five. Extra lanes. Great place to bowl since 1946. Amy sweeps it for a spare. 98, the ball through nine. Still gunning for the top five. 327, a first three. It'll be a big shakeup today. Lana missed left. Amy looking for the 10 pinner here on the spare. Alana, eight, 101 through nine. Terrific job on the monthly Sunday Pro League. Yeah, we, we feature on Facebook on Canal Blowing Network. On the bonus, on the nose, feeling it. Take that leg out. Eight, 106 through nine. Trying to make a case for the top five for July 9th on Canal Blowing Network here in Exeter. 10 o'clock start. Give or take. Alana Brown in the pocket. Eight, another Woolworth discount, the five and ten. Give her a break. Maybe try and bounce it over. He's up to four. Trying to get to 116 and 443 through four. Line is open. Amy gets to 10, 116. That'll put her at 
443. 107. 108 would get it to number five right now, pending other action. Alana Brown a nine. 110. Fourth string. Get some great battles brewing here at Exeter Lanes. Shooters Pub on Kenneth Memorial Network. Round seven of seven, the final round. Ladies only, Kenneth Prince McCanton, round of two series. Love to see the ladies bowling and see the elevation of these young bowlers. Like 16 year old Pacer here, Maddie Gauthier, nine. So the smooth ball. Katie Duran at a 59. 50 half. Maddie at 60, 52 half. She gets the spare. Now 62 and a ball through six. Katie's open. One, two, seven. One more exciting string left. We're going to teach her. We're going to move our camera down to cover Sharon Britton for sure. She's a contention to be number one. So we tend to do that in the fifth string in these latter series. Katie Durant, a seven, six and seven back to back, 57 to six. Maddie Gauthier, a spare six in the second. In the sixth box, the spare fill is eight, five and seven. Wood to help. 70 through six. Katie, good ball. Eight, four and seven. Fiance Chuck, Chuck DeRoche is watching. For another one. She got it. Back to back. Three in the string. 80 in the ball through seven. How about that? Katie got brought by the wood. Tough break. Had a spirit to start the string open the last six. Katie a nine, 66 through seven. Fourth string of five on Kenneth Rolling Network. The pace of Maddie Gauthier, lead three. On the square, just two that time. Fills a six, eight, and two here in the fourth. 82 through seven out of Academy Lanes. The brand new Pub 125 will be tonight for the six spot match with the match man, Tony Levesque and Jeff Little. ACST Class C semifinals. Maddie open, second time around to Katie Durant, 4-7. No piece of wood to get in the way this time in front. And this time she gets it. 76 in the ball through eight. One seven ten Augusta Main special for a seven. 89 through eight for Maddie. Katie Durant working a spare in lane two. Updating Sharon Britton. She gets the 139, and she's be the number one seed. She's at 498 through four. Wow. She has a 132 in the first, a 139. And Maddie, a strike on lane three. As we get the update on Sharon Britton, 99 plus two through nine. Katie, five in the fill, 81 through eight. 3-2 split. She had four strikes and three spares? And a 139? Wow. Okay, she had that double. She had double strike, that's right. Wow. Wow, she's feeling it. She was fourth coming in at 550. And unless some kind of disaster can happen, she's gonna be number one. Eight for Katie Durant, 89 through nine here in the fourth. Maddie on a strike on lane three, three to split. In the Century Club already. And what a try. Just missed the object pin. Seven on the strike. How about 106 through nine for the 16 year older? Katie, 7 10 goal post. Get that wood to have to help. How's Chuck DeRose just playing this shot? Get hit that wood. Wood, what, red line? Chuck saying red line wood. Maddie has seven. Nothing wrong with the 113. Fourth string. Katie. Oh, what a try. Just missed the 10. Chuck saying, I would have made that shot. <laughs> he nods his head. Chuck's a great guy. Runs a lot of leagues at Academy Lanes. Up 125. Nine blocks. 98. Fourth string. 
The star of the day and maybe the star of the series is Sharon Britton. She is at 498 through 4. A stunning performance here in Exeter. And the, the father, Coach Lane Britton of the Haverhill Hitman championship winning team and the bowler himself. She's making him proud, Jordan Britton, her brother, and Caitlin, her sister. We're going to move down our table. I'm Paul Grant with Kevin Burns on Camp Mo Never. Our final string of the Ladder Series, round seven of seven, Ladder Series two on Camp Mo Never between Sheehan and Sheehan Five. Yeah, Sheehan still be on five. So bear with us, move our table down. Three, four, and five. She's on five, Sharon. So Sharon's going to be on lane five. So we're going to feature lane four and five. We'll have Amy Doobie again. She's still in the running. So four and five coverage. Come a little more down. So Sharon, Sharon Britton is the hero of this series. Watch in for a second shift. Well, yesterday got a 550, and she knows it could have been a lot better. And she is going with great confidence today. Here are the scores we have with one string left. Paul Grant, Kevin Burns again, extra lanes, Cheers Pub on Cannon Bowling Network. Angie Scott Bowling, the experienced 75 league bowler. It's her average that time, 325 and 4. Then we're after a 136, 103, 422. He's a big string to get in the top five. Alana Brown, 425, outside shot. If she bowls like she did New Hampshire State, she could get to the, the top five. Katie Durant, 421, he's a big string. No. Waiting for other scores to come in. And we'll talk to uh, the winners before we sign off. Other scores coming in. Hold on, Sharon. Amy, hold on a second. Let's put these up first. Lori Lewis, not a bad stuff today. 389. Kept looking a big strength. Kathy Boyd. 441. She still has a chance. Don't count Lori Lewis out. She could throw a big string. Sharon Britton will show in just a minute. Other scores. Tina Marie Young. 382. Sherelle Nealon. 339. How about this story? Lisa Everest, first of all, is at 351 out of the running. How about this? Sharon Britton, 20 year old on Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Hayden Mass, Riverwalk Lanes, Kings Match, 132, 124, 103, a four strike, you can double strike, 139, 4, 498. And our fifth and final string of this latter series, underway. Sharon Britton on lane 5, 359. Amy Doobie, a bundle of six. What's Amy's scores here? Amy Doobie's. Yeah. I think I got that one. Sharon's open as is Amy. Amy Doobie at 443. She's got a shot. Shooting a 107, a 106 to get him a 5. And nice shot there for a 10. Sharon Britton a 9. And that's that's a ten of Sharon's a spare. It's a nine. Yeah, they put out a spare. It's a nine. Okay, get that right. The scoreboard's wrong. That's all fixed. Second box, fifth string. Britain, two, four, seven, nine. Wood to help. Amy Doobie won that first ball. She's got a shot. It's off high. That's the pass. Sonia Johnson. Sharon. Oh, just missed the object pin. The three, not by much. Amy missed left. One of the nine. We'll have 16 year old pace of Patty Gothier after Amy Doobie. Sharon, a pair of nines to start the final string. Amy, a pair of tens to start her final string. Amy Doobie in the running. 43. Patty Gothier, Gothier's a pace of 387. Sharon Britton, the pocket, seven. The triangle consists of the two, four, five. 
Amy in the pocket up the wall. Eight. The two and the seven. Baby split. He's a 106 to get to number five. Pending other action. Sharon missed it. Three open boxes. The queen pin stands. The five. Amy missed inside. Trying to get three tenths in a row. Needs a couple of marks. Sharon, 10, 28, and 3 in the final string of the season. A lot of series. Amy, 3 tens, 30 through 3. Description vessel coverage here in lanes 4 and 5. Let me show the scores a little more often. Sharon, 4, 98 through 4. This holds up face serve be number 2. Madison Iver, three. Peggy Dolly, fourth. And Amy Juby could replace Sharon, replace her fourth spot. Obviously, can't bowl twice, although she'd like the money. Right now, Amy Juby can take it away from Sonia Johnson, who's at 548. Sharon missed left. Amy, four once. But the wall got it! Big spare! 40 to ball through four, trying to replace Sonia Johnson for fifth. Could move up higher. She could get as high as number two, the 559. Sharon chops that one for a seven, 35 through four. Amy would need a 116 to get to number two, pending other action. So, can I read some of these scores here for us for their in contention? All right. Shannon is running away with the 198. With the 498. On the nose, Fred Eagle. Amy. One second, Amy's on a spare lane for. Hold on a second, Kevin. Off to the right, trying to get some action. Five, 45 through four. Perfect. Three tens and a spare five. Go ahead, Kevin. Amy is off that far, but is second, 443. And don't forget Kathy Boyd. Four, not, 441. That ain't too bad. He's still in the running. And Linda. Brunette, 422. Outside chance of Katie Durant, 421. And how about Alana Brown, 425. All in contention still. This can go either way. It's all a great game. You're probably going to be in. And wouldn't that be something that ball five get replaced? Coming in? Amy at 10. 55 half. Sharon Britton. A, set, a seven. Wait, which could the last box? A five? She's got a ball to go. I think she's trying to lace. She has a ball, she has a ball to go. She has a 3 2 split. Try to get at least three for a 43 half. Live coverage on Candle for Bowling Network on Facebook. Ladies, Candle Fits for Cancer, round 7 of 7. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, always free, 24-7. Candle for Bowling Network on YouTube. Our live show here July 9th, Sunday, with Mike Warren and Bob Lee. Six, a rare 41 half today. For the number one seed probably now, Sharon Britton. Maddie Gauthier, the pacer, on lane four. Five, nine, seven left. Maybe Doobie has something to say about being in the top five. She is one mark away from getting into the top five, maybe number two, any other action. Lisa Everest, the big 20 Scarborough Maine, brand new wow shirt, set a check mark. Three on the right, one, two, four left. Maddie's open. Lisa Everest, despair. Ten of the ball to start her final string. Maddie is seven. On the spare. Voids a lemon drop. Two, twelve through one. Maddie Gauthier. Crossing over off the wall, a diamond. Sharon Britton, the, st the story of the day in this tournament. Oh, there's still have a chance. Lisa, 7, 19 through 2. Going twice today at a 114 in the first shift in the 106 second. Then dropped down to a 493 total. Maddie Gauthier in 8, 15 through 2 in the final string of the season. What a treat the top five are going to be. 
potential first place prize up to two, at least a thousand, maybe twelve hundred. Potential eight hundred or seven hundred dollars second place prize, five hundred for third, two fifty or so, or two hundred for fourth, and two hundred for fifth. Hundred dollar strike challenge after each round. Also throw one ball for a strike for hundred dollars for the strike challenge. Danny Vibe, the only one to get it in our first time at Bowling Armor in San Domingo. Both balls open, third box, fifth string, from extra. Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Shoot his pub. Lee Everett, beautiful shot, 10, 23. Matty Gothier, beautiful shot, 9, 24 through 3. But I like her patience, her calmness, the lane as a junior. Going as a pacer today, 94, 85, 95, 113, 382. At least with a diamond. Diamonds look easy. Just over one in four times they convert for professional bowlers without wood. Statistics by Camel from Bowling Network. Matty Gothia back door, 7, 137. Lisa missed right. Just missed inside. Lisa, 9, 10. The Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. Back to back tens, 39 through 4 here in the fifth. Get your wash shirt, help support campus for cancer. High, thick quality Gildan brand pre trunk shirts, $10 each, $25. 30 for plus sizes. Go to campus for cancer. 550 shirts sold, helping 11 families going through cancer treatments. Five in the lemon drop pool also. Maddie and 8, 32 through 4. That's the new version with the bowling pins. Wow! The bowling pins. Lisa Everett's open. One, two, four, eight. Open half. Maddie open so far. Trying to change it here on the fifth box. Fifth string. One, two, seven. Lisa slips. Only got one. Maddie just missed inside, has the one and seven. And Lee Chavis a seven forty-six half. The big story is up next. Sharon Britton, four ninety-eight through four, a forty-one half to start. Field goal for Maddie, both the other pacer, forty half. Five more boxes to go in this final round. It's round seven of seven on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Colin Grand Live, Kevin Burns, X Wayne, Shooters Club. Ladies, round seven of seven, ladder two series. Kenneth and Spicanza, ladies only. Sharon Britton, 498 through four, gunning for number one. And a good ch ch chance to be there now, but Amy Doobie right there. She has a 55 half on lead four. He's a 116 to get the number two, pending other action. And a beautiful ball, nine. Did she miss some more shots she normally makes earlier? We'll talk to some of the bowlers before we sign off. And on the pocket. Oh, seven. Tough lead. Eight now. Do be spare. And a good fill. She could be right there in the top five. Maybe number two. 65 and a ball through six. Sharon Britton, a nine, 50 through six. Here's the ball to go, actually. That's Amy going at a faster pace. Sharon trying to take her time. A 102, she'll have a 600. Nine, 50 through six. Amy Doobie, a big spare fill. On the nose, spread eagle plus the nine. Wow, tough break. Might need to the mark. 68 through 6. She can do it, but she needs another mark. She gets number 2. She can still get the top 5. 3 1 split. 6 right, 2 4 7 left. But number 1, Sharon Britton. She'll be number 1 after today. Number 4 coming in at 550. Amy, 3 1 1 split. 
the big out. Sharon trying to kick it over. A good bit of the object. 6-7. Amy hooks it for a tough six. Spare three and a six. 74 through seven. We'll need two marks to get to number one. Or number two, rather. Sharon's pretty much all but wrapped up number one. She'll take a nine. Just 59 through seven. Open string. A funny game. 132 first. 139 fourth. In between, she has a 124 and a 103. Amy a strike on lane four. Big time strike, 84 plus two through eight. Huge. He's one more mark to get to number two. Britain, beautiful ball, first strike, eight. Six to the right, nine to the left. Eight blocks, fifth string from Exeter. She is now the new number one seed. Face story right now is two. Madison Robert three. And a spare. Peggy Donnelly fourth. Right now is Sonya Johnson is fifth at 548. 69 the ball through eight. That's a great feeling for a 20 year old Boulder. Boulder, Boulder. And Boulder great. The Atlanta came up in singles to a second half after a brutal first half. A brutal first four matches. Amy Dupe going for the double. They missed right a half. Wister, ouch. Just a killer shot. Talking she about needs, taking the ear out of your court. She needs another mark to get to number two. She, can still, she still has a path to number five, if not. Good second ball. Eight, Phil. 92 through eight. Sharon, the bonus. Thin hit off the wall. Five. 74 through 8. Amy, big 10. 102 through 9. That puts her at 4, 545. 4 to surpass Sonya Johnson for 5th. Sharon just missed the object. 2, 7, 10. The new number 1 seed right now, Sharon Britton. Amy needs a mark to get the number 2. Needs a 14 box. Thrilling finish here in Exeter. Sharon, 7, 81 through 9. Not happy with that. Amy, needs a mark, crossing over. 7, 8, 7, 10 goal pulls. Wood to help. Oh, a lumber yard needs to convert to get to number 2. Depending what Kathy Boyd does. Britain in the pocket, thin hit again. 6, 2, 5, 7, 10. Amy. Right now, temporarily going for number two. Takes her time. Let's see how the other one's doing. Yeah, let's go. Sharon missed it. He's two for 90. Amy needs it. Oh, too bad. Tough break. She's number five right now, pending other action. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion. We'll put the scores up before we sign off. Sharon a seven. Disappointing 88 string, but the first four put her at number one. Amy a 10. 112. 555. Right now she's fifth. Depending what other bowls is too. Kevin Burns running around trying to find out the other nine oars. What a performance by Amy Doobie and Sharon Britton especially. The new number one, Sharon Britton, 20 year older. I think that's one twelve hundred dollars, or at least a thousand, pending the funds. Final five boxes, Lisa Everest, Maddie Goldie are pacing the 310. No factor in the top five, obviously. Lisa from Big 20 Scarborough Mean, 4-1. Lori Lewis ended up with a 496. Maddie Spear. First spear of the fifth, 15 of ball through six. <laughs> Lisa has the one and nine. Everest to nine, 55 through six. Four blocks to go. It's exciting. 
Latitude Series, final round, 7-7 seven seven on Cannibal Bowling Network. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, always free, never a charge. Cannibal Bowling Network, free on YouTube. And check out Rip the Rack podcast tomorrow night with Ryan Athlete, Calvin Long, Hall of Famer, Tim Matero, 2023 inductee. 8 o'clock start or so, unless they start earlier. Information on Cannibal and Chat. Lisa, 2, 4, 6, 10, right. Five fifty-eight in second, third, and fourth. You're first. Sharon didn't, Sharon didn't even know she was first. She didn't even know it. Sharon didn't even know she's first. She's surprised. Maddie on the spare gets six. Fifty-six through six. Lisa Evers the six block. Sixty-one through seven. Nice shot for Maddie Gauthier. Back to back spares for the 16 year older. Ineligible as a junior. Pacing today, 66 to the ball through 7. Here in the fifth. Lisa, 247. Alana's at 520. Alana finished at 520. Yep. Lisa Everett won't go. Sharon Britton, the new number one seed by a mile. And had a touch finger, spear five with the eighth, denied the 600. But at 88, way up there, eight blocks for Lisa, 69 through eight. Maddie Gauthier, only one in that spear, not a lemon drop, 67 through seven. Kevin Burns, anybody else in the running here for the top five? I'm so working on it. All right. Kevin, running around. We get the official scores before we sign out. Talking to Sharon Britton. Leads a good bid there. He's up the eight. Maddie, one, five, nine. For a seven box, 74 through eight. Lisa Everest, from Old Orchard, Maine, 10, 79 through 9. Bowling twice today, not in the top five. 96 league bowler in the Big 20, Scarborough, Maine. One of the first ladder series, Kenneth Pitch against Ladies Series, won by Amanda Carroll. Maddie drills 9. Lisa has the 1 and 2. Had a spare two to stop the string. Open since Lisa. Maddie a spare six, spare one. Over third one. And she has it. 84 and a ball through nine. Yeah. Lisa Everest on the board in the tenth. Bookend spares. 89 a ball in the tenth. Officially, uh, 75, we're told. The Maddies will fix that. So 85 in the ball through nine. Lisa finish up her match. On the bonus, Boyd's lemon drop gets three. 92, final string. Maddie Gauthier. On the bonus. Six pin goes. So does the 10. Five in the fill. 90 through 9. <coughs> she had a 113 in the fourth. Missed everything. Sharon for the new number one seat. We'll talk to Sharon before we sign off. We'll put all the scores up on the screen also. All the score sheets make sure they fill out. Kevin, get all the official score sheets. Maddie, bright young career on the rise. Ends up with a five, a 95 final string. Sharon Britton is the new number one. The bunch up of 558 was further with by Amy Dewey. She fell short with a 555. She'll be fifth unless other action happens. We're still waiting to get the results.
We'll put the official scores up before we sign up. And don't forget, 6 o'clock tonight and tomorrow night, two huge Atlanta Camelton Single Tour playoff matches. ACST, C Conference, Northern Conference, C Division. Number one, Tony Levesque, Magic Man. Number seven, Jeff Little, Academy Lanes Pub 125. Right here, X Lane, Shooters Pub. Tomorrow night, 6 p.m., Logan's Run. Number one seed, Logan Gingrass. Takes on number six, Joe Moose, D. Almeida. All on the ACST Facebook page. All right, let's check these scores out. Katie Drink gave it a ride. Dell Short, 538. Well above her average, Alana Brown, 520. She's a force to be reckoned with in the future. We'll put the top score up at last. Tina Marie Young out of Lita Lanes National Hampshire, good young bowler, 405. Cheryl Nealon, 427. For her. Lori Lewis, not her day. Unlike Lori Lewis. Just a 496. Let's zoom out here a little bit. I'm going to talk to Sharon Britt before I sign off. Kathy Boyd. Tough. This ring, 89, falls short to 530. And we need one more sheet here, right? Yeah. Angie Scott out of Agawam Bowl, Agawam Mass, bowling five shifts to help support the prize fund and get the experience. Over average on all the two strings out of 20 strings. Good for her. Linda Brunette, 516. Maddie Gothia Jr., Pay Saint today, not eligible. Four eighty-two. Amy Dewey now number five at five fifty-five. And the new number one seat, Lisa Rebbe is four forty-three. The new number one, the dominant performance led fifth string. Sharon Britton. Five eighty-six. The new number one. Saturday, Sunday, July 9th. Sunday, July 9th here at X Lane, 10 o'clock. Special guest commentator Mike Morin on Canada Bowling Network. We're gonna to talk to Sharon before we sign off. So the new top five, Amy, Sharon Britton, number one. I'm going to talk to Sharon before we one, sign off. Yeah. Faye Sawyer, number two. Number three is Madison River. Number four, Peggy Donnelly. And number five is Amy Doobie. We're going to talk to Amy and Sharon Britton. Let me turn the camera. Yeah. The first tournament I bowled. We're going to talk to Amy here in a second. Just get her in here. Let's get a microphone fixed here. All tangled up as usual. We're going to talk to Amy Doobie. And the new number one, Sharon Britton. Ooh. All right, Kevin, thank you. All right, Amy Doobie, come on down. On the price is right, come on down. Oh, which way do you want me? Right, that's good. Okay. Amy, I know you, you You can look at, it's always revisionist history in any sport. Mm -hmm. We know you're missing shots, everybody does. Yep. Uh, present company included in the past. 555, very good performance. Number five, you made number five. Ooh, I'm actually surprised myself. <laughs> I'm excited. Great job on the Sunday Pro League. Now you can afford another wild shirt for your family. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what do you think got you going today? Because you, you were, the energy you had, you just felt like you were in a zone today. I don't know. I just was, um, I was just comfortable today. I was kind of relaxed for the most part. A little nerves here and there. Watching uh, um, Sharon, though. Really motivated me. She threw, she threw a great ball all day. It was fun to watch. Yeah. Fun to be right next to her, too. All right. A three-letter word, such a W, ends with a W, has an O in the middle for being the number five seed, Sunday, July 9th, 10 a.m. with special guest commentator, Mike Warren. Wow. Oh, a little more energy, huh? Wow. All right, Amy Doobie, congratulations. All right, the new number one seed, 20-year-old Sharon Britton. Give it up for Sharon Britton. I was surprised to see you walk in. I mean, not, not that I was... Not happy to see you, don't get me wrong, but 550 yesterday, number four coming in. You knocked yourself out, by the way. 
a ma and, you know, your tough fifth string, but a 586 yeah. masterful performance. My, that's my new high five, 586. Right, that's what I thought, so congratulations. Thank you so much. You did in the biggest stage. A 20-year-old beating some of the good bowlers in the game today. You got red hot. You had double strike and multiple strikes, a 132, a 139. What happened today? You're so locked in. Um. Well, my aunt called me this morning like, hey, I'm bowling, come bowl. So she convinced me to bowl, and I just said, you know what, I'm coming in to have fun. And, and tell us who your aunt is. Uh, Kathy Boyd. Okay. So Kathy Boyd, you know, I said to Kathy, I said, I'm just coming to have fun, and that's what I came in and did. I just came in and had fun and didn't stress about it, didn't worry, and it's right here, and right. here today. You're not going away July 9th, are you? No. Okay, so right here at 10 o'clock, you'll be bowling the last round. A chance for a thousand or twelve hundred dollars, depending on what we have for funding, and a one hundred dollar strike challenge after each shift. A three letter for winning your high triple, and more importantly, the final ladder series of the season, a five ninety six number one. That's 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 cra it's crazy. I, I'm like in like an adrenaline rush right now. A three letter word. Wow. All right, there you have it. So the new top five: Sharon Britton, number one, five eighty six. Faye Sawyer, number two, by a three way tiebreaker. Second, third is Madison Riva, five fifty eight. Peggy Donnelly, fourth, 5.58. And Amy Doobie sneaks in at 5.55. Paul Grant saying so long and out with Kevin Burns. Excellent Shooters Pub on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling. Finish. Yeah, one more. And post.